Hey guys, so let's talk about polygons. They're multi-sided shapes enclosed by line segments. Triangles, squares, rectangles are all examples of polygons. When you see something called a regular polygon, that just means that they're equilateral, which means that all the sides are the same length, and equiangular, which just means that all the angles are the same. So a polygon's interior angles always add up to 180 times n minus 2, n being the number of sides. So for example, if we have a hexagon, which is a six-sided polygon, we would just take 180 times 6 minus 2. So that's 180 times 4, which is equal to 720, which would be the total for the polygon's interior angles. The exterior angles of a polygon will always add up to 360. So there are various polygons you might encounter on the SAT or ACT. Triangles, which we've covered in a previous video. Parallelograms, which are four-sided shapes with opposite sides that are equal and parallel. So the top and bottom are of equal length and are parallel, and the left and right sides are equal and parallel to each other. Opposite angles are equal, so these angles are equal, and these angles are equal. And consecutive angles always add up to 180. So this angle and this angle will add up to 180, and this angle and this angle will be 180, and the same goes for this and this, and this and this. Squares are just parallelograms with right angles and equal sides, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with. So all four sides are equal, and all these angles are right angles, so they're all equal. Rectangles are just parallelograms with right angles, which I'm sure you're also familiar with. So the top and bottom sides are equal, left and right sides are equal, and all right angles on the inside. And rhombuses, which are just parallelograms with equal sides, generally they look something like this. So all these sides are the same length. So there are certain things you're going to need to know about the diagonals of polygons. For squares, the diagonals are equal in length, and they bisect each other and create right angles. So these angles on the inside are all going to be right angles. This and this and this and this on the inside, all these segments created by the diagonals are all going to be of equal length as well. For rectangles, the diagonals are just equal in length. And for rhombuses, diagonals create right angles in the middle. Similar polygons have equal angles and proportional sides. So if I have a hexagon here and a larger hexagon and all the angles all around are all the same, then if this side's 3 and this side is 6, if I were to say this side were 4, I would know this side have to be 8. So everything would have to be proportional. Congruent polygons have equal angles and equal sides, so it pretty much means that they're just equal polygons. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this video. Here's some questions if you want to review some of the stuff we just went over on polygons. And like always, feel free to leave questions and comments below, and give the video a like and subscribe if you found it helpful.